What's going on family? Dublin Odinson here and welcome to Last Oasis. Now here is my top five tips to help new players uh, conquer this game. Tip number one, the starting zone. Stay there. Stay there as long as you can stomach. In the middle of the starting zone, or most of them, there's a crash site. And if you go there, you can farm fragments. Now these fragments are very important. While you level up, that that ups your stats but these fragments are what gives you blueprints if you're an arc player think of them like the engrams that you get to unlock different blueprints that let you build bigger and better things so my advice is to stay there and farm these blueprints these fragments as much as you can and unlock as much as you can before you actually go out into the world now while you're farming this brings me to tip number two pack your boxes I see people leave their boxes on top of their dragonflies, or fireflies, sorry, all the time. People could break into these very easy. They're weak, they're soft. So if you just go into your fireflies inventory here and you scroll down with your mouse wheel, you see the pack, the bases. You can pack structures. So you just click on that, click on your box, and it's gone. It's safe, it's held in your hole. Now later on, when you get bigger and be badder uh, walkers, you can you could pack entire bases, which is really cool. Speaking of larger walkers, that brings me to tip number three. While you're in the, the starting zone, do not upload more than one walker to the map. You will lose it when you're trying to get off. It only lets you take one walker to the next area. So here we see combat and I we made a total of six walkers. We took two, we lost four. Don't make that same mistake. Do not upload more than one walker. All right, tip number four. You just left the starting zone. You're, you're out in brand new days and you see something you haven't seen before. Sand in your gears. Now this makes it so you cannot leave the map. Um, it'll drain over time, but if you want to drain it quicker, find a vegetated area, a bunch of grass and bushes, and just drive in a circle over there. Uh, it'll drain slowly, as you can see, but it will drain faster than just leaving it. Alright, tip number five. So you made your second walker, you made your dinghy or your spider walker. What do you do with your first firefly? Well, if you want to transfer it out safely, just jump on it. Hit escape, go to transfer to lobby. Now, if you stay on that walker, you and your walker will be transferred. However, if you jump off, after that timer ticks down, your uh, walker will just poof out of existence, upload it, and safe. Now, if you want to get yourself off the map without taking a walker, the only way to do that is to run off the edge. All right, and this is a little bonus tip. It's really not a tip, it's just talking about the eclipse. Now, for a game that boasts about not having a night cycle, it gets dark here suddenly and goes to pitch black. So torches and campfires will light up a little ring around you, which is helpful to see, but it makes you stick out like a sore thumb. So please use them at your own risk. All right, family, well, that's my tips. Do you guys have any tips that I missed? Do you think we should know something? Please leave it in the comment below. Help us survive this game. Uh, it's been a blast so far. Combat and I are having a blast with it. And if you want to play, let me know. Join the Whiskey Walkers. Let's make a big and badass clan. All right, family. Well, if the Valkyries don't take me tonight, I will see you tomorrow in the next episode. You guys drink one for me, and I'll drink one for you. Take it easy, family.